Hello folks and welcome back to the channel from Evil Extreme here and it's time to harvest our sugar beets but first of all we need some money because we spent all of our money that is because we bought a wind rower to attach with the well sh in theory should hopefully attach uh, was it with the forge wagon but first of all, we got a few things to sell, including a bunch of stories, so... Oh no, can't hard work, we got no money, so... That's fine, we'll sell some story first of all, then we got a bunch of flour and all that to sell, so... We need to get our bank account bounced back into the red. No, back into the black, not the red. And then, yeah, we'll start proceeding with the sugar beet harvest. Farm shop is the best place to sell Surrey, so that's what we'll do. What's that selling? We'll go and grab the pickup and take all this. So we got 43,000 years of flour. 10,000 euros of sugar and canola oil, 1,000 euros of sunflower oil, 800 cakes, and 2,260 euros of butter. Yeah, it's a bit of a laggy mess, it is. That's just because so many big old flower pallets here, so that will clear the thing right up once we start selling. So for those of Zuri, we have got two grand for that. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Oh well, some money's better than no money. I'm sure the milk will f feed better, so... Oops. Yeah, let's get rid of that tanker and sort of send this, so... If I can guess how much money we'll get... Ooh, maybe close to a hundred grand, but I've got absolutely no idea whatsoever. So let's go and move this. Oh, all right. What I'm gonna do is sell this, and we'll jump cut once this is done. So, actually it's more 10,000 years, so that ain't too bad. Now, sell all this, so try to get a little mongo if we can. is looking like it, so almost oh not quite, 93 grand that ain't too bad overall just park you there for now and I think we'll grab some milk and whatever milk we got we'll set it now but yeah this is what I was on about what we got it is the trailed, well no, sorry was it Troll or Frontwind Rower? I can't remember which one it was. Frontwind Rower, so this goes on to the front of the tractor, so... But that is, what's the horsepower requirement of that? 350 for 6 meters. So combine that with that, that is 550. Well, anyway, it shouldn't be 350, it should be 240 what I bought. 350 is the 20 meter one, but in theory that should still work with defense, so we'll have a look at that. But yeah, let's quickly go and grab some milk and see how much money we get from that. 
So we should get about 46,000 views from this. We did had thousand in from the cowpens, but accidentally clicked onto the third trigger and lost that. So a little bit of a loss, but not to worry. There's only about 1,200 we're losing now, so not the end of the world. And you may see in between the episodes, we got this field mode. And we also got our new plot of land, that's all mowed up, so looking forward to getting the grass sorted on that. And with that front wheel rower, should be a nice little setup in theory, so for the milk, fatty gas, ooh, about 55,000 litres, or 54, 55 grand. That's a rough estimate that is, so let's see how much we get in total. Oops. Yeah, the brakes don't work. May have had the jack brake enabled. And see how much we get from the milk. And there we go, hitting our final target, so how much we're gonna make? £59,000, so a couple of grand off. It's probably more 1300 than 1200 which we'll space it on, but still, nevertheless, that is a nice amount of money to have. So let's go and grab the fence. And yeah, let's just test this front uh, wind rear out. May work, may not. If it doesn't, then we'll just sell it. Set back to the shop, get most of our money back. Obviously you can't lease on this series, so you can't test it. So she buy it, don't like it, sell it. Like we did with the second cultivator. Bought it and then sold it. And that sort of quote unquote leasing was a ten thousand pound cost. So let's just see how wide this is, 16 meters. It's mainly because on the new plot of land there is quite a bit of grass that is when cut it's all a bit skew -ifty, so thinking having a massive wind rover may be advantageous for us. Okay, we can at least get two windrows here. So we'll turn that on. And in theory we should be able to hit 11 balls an hour. Let's see. Oh yeah, easy. No problems. And look at that, we're double in rowing. Good thing about the TARDIS, he's got a nice pickup, so. Yeah, a usual one would miss bits, like on the edges here, but the TARDIS does a good job of picking up everything, so. That is very useful. So, yeah, we'll get us done, and then we will proceed with starting on the sugar bee harvest.
all that done, so the grass from the field that's been used as hay, and all the grass we picked up from our new plot of land that is going to be used as soilage. So that is 183,000 years plus 175, about 355, 363, something like that. So not too bad overall. And boy, we have a lot of grass making silage. That's going to take a few months to process. And we've got a batch ton of hay in there. We did top up the sheep with some hay. And we had a bit of excess hay, so we just whack in there and that's going to be converted over. And yes, I was thinking about getting the cotton harvest. No, not cotton. The sugar beet harvest done today, but. Thinking about it, more likely it's going to be done next month, which ain't going to be a problem. Just checking this, so that needs 30,000 years of straw. So let's go and quick grab, grab some straw, get that topped up. And does the cows need any more straw? Oh, they can do some. So what's that? 10, 20, 30,000 years? Plus that. Oop. So, fifth, no, sorry, 60,000 years of straw. And silage. So, do we have any silage in here? Yes, we do. Actually, you know what? All that would be fine. So let's get this topped up. And there we go, just skip time for a little bit to make sure we get all this in there. And we'll grab this. Get you. Attached to the roller. Not the roller, the cultivator. So we start prepping that field over there, the cotton harvest field, or the cotton fields. Get that turned over and prepped. And at some point over the winter, we'll need to fully prep that field, which ain't gonna be a problem for us. So grab our cultivator and mulcher. But boy, this is a very helpful mod. This is. This Honestly, this is the first time I've used this, and you know what? I am having no regrets whatsoever. I think we'll just do a strip down. And that's doing all the work she needs to do. What? Just set a worker off. And now let's go and grab some straw. Small little problem. There is no straw left, so yeah. And this is why I mean we need a field for grain. Oh. I'm tempted to do barley again, but we need another plot of land and all that. I get it done this month, which we just don't have the time for. That's my bad, that's my mistake. We're doing for next year, so. But for the time being, we're going to have to buy some straw, so. No idea how much it's going to cost us, but. I'm going to need pretty much a full trailer's load worth, so... You know what? I'll we'll buy the bullet. Yeah, we'll just fill this up. And then we'll see where we go from there. 
And you know what? For £20,500, for 200,000 euros of straw, that ain't that bad of a deal, actually. So, no complaints here on that front, at least. So, now, see how much it is, all the cows, and that will take. But yeah, once this is done, we'll skip till tomorrow. Skip till November. And then do the sugar beet harvest. Okay, that's all the straw there for the cows. For that pen. But yeah, I am seriously thinking about expanding these cow pastures. Or we get more of these, or we get a different brand, different variety. Not too sure you on that front. There we go. Now, as much as we can put into here. There we go, back it up. And now, time to get some shut eye. And we'll be in November. I think 7 am, that'll do. May have skip a little bit longer than that. Oof. That's a bit of rain. Oh boy, we've got rain on the way. Okay, ain't here till 11. I was only just a shower for two hours. So overall, could be worse. Okay, sorry for the cows starting to top up there because we didn't empty those. And they need more TMR. Sheep are doing right, chickens are okay. Workers still smashing out. And we'll put what we can left to show in there. And that needs more signage. As I would fault. So turn that off. We'll turn you off. Turn that one off. And yet these, as always, still smashing out. Do what needs to be done. Actually, with the greenhouses, yeah, they still got plenty of material, and that water has not been touched at all. So, no idea hear what's going on there. This should be that. I meant to do that. Distribute you. Meant to do that. And I've got to do all this. Whoopsie. I should do this. We can store. Distribute you. How bad is it? Oof. <laughs> we'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, let's go over and have a look. So where are you two? Nope. Hey, there we go. And it's time for the pallets that I forgot to set to distribution, so they didn't spawn. Oh well. But now, it's time to introduce our sugar beets harvester and this is the colossus one yep the colossus 50 dungeon horsepower so like with the con harvester this can go 46 miles an hour but it only harvests at like nine miles an hour whatever it is oh 
was just I'm not looking at any smart here. Let's get all of that unfolded, ready. Yep, harvest start. As I was looking at, does it say the working speed right? No, but I'm pretty sure it's nine miles an hour. So let's go and have a look. Not sure how long this is going to take. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Switch steer modes. Eleven miles an hour, not too bad. But we're already at five percent. So this may need emptying quite a bit often, actually. And it doesn't help work in such a tight space as well. There we go, back, back onto all wheel steering, I think actually just a bit better for controlling that for us, I think. But yeah, we're gonna get a ton of beats here. And just look at that. Ain't she a beaut? So yeah, what we're gonna do as always is get it all done in a little time lapse. And this definitely shouldn't take too long. Not compared to the cotton harvester, so yeah. We'll get this done, and I'll see you folks once we're done here. Had me down for the count. I was on nine, nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. But now I'm gone, bye, bye, bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something first field done. So we've done the bigger field of the two. Whilst we're just getting the last bit of this mulching and cultivation done. And oh boy, I lied when I say it was going to take as long as the corn harvest. <laughs> but yeah, so we had to wait out for a bit for the rain to come past and dry out. But I think in total we had have a look in here. 
think until we put something like 40,000 or so in the farm supply production. We've got 62,000 liters here. So let's say 100,000 liters. And well, let's have a look. 330,000 liters in the silo, so best part of 425,000 liters we've got. And really, this is just the start of it. So, yeah. I think in future, get the workers on the East Railway. Do both at once, both cotton and sugar beets. Oh, uh, that's my fault then for trying to spread these out in two episodes, but... Oh well, it's what it is. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, this is working out really well for us. And I do see why there is a unrealistic version with capacity in that. I think in the future, if we're going to do this again, we may upgrade to the 250,000 year capacity. Just to hit the saves on the hand to unload it all the time, but... Besides from that... Hmm... Yeah. I think what we'll do is, we'll just get the worker to finish the rest of this off. Turn around. And there goes the worker. That is because I want to grab this. Because we did clear out some more timber and that in the woodlands. Cleared out the new plot of land. And uh, with where our old or soon to be megafield is, the original part, I did have to clear two of the bigger trees so we did get an extra 45,000 years of wood chips there off camera. But these trees are going to stay because I do like the aesthetic of these trees. It just creates a good old little vibe it does with it all. But we really do need to think about getting more plots of land just for like pure timber so... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for the time being we need to get the case because we need to start getting the worker on herbicide in our barley field that's got wheats not wheats, wheats <laughs> and does this come with the narrow tire option? I hope it does I'll repair you whilst we're at it. Wides, twins, narrows, reverse shines. You know what, I'll ground for that. I can accept that. And with our KUHN spreaders, it would be a good idea at some point if we can earn enough money to, you know, get like a self propelled version of this. Because you can either get the two basically ones or go with a Case Trident or John Deere, I think it's a 4940. Self propelled spreader, something like that. Yes, I know the workers gonna miss bits, as I always complain when the workers do these, but overall, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I was looking at beat cutters and that, but getting the trailers is like 100 grand all in itself. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, cat's coming, knocked over my bin. 
but regardless, so. But yeah, we just got a ton of beats. More than we got to plan on do with them, because I think those greenhouses are probably enough sugar beets to make sugar in the. Um, what's it, Jake? Farm supply production. So really, jury needs to be actually done, so and that needs more water at some point. we will have to buy some, but yeah, water's cheap enough, so it's not the end of the world. But we need to get this grass field fertilized quickly before winter, because I want to get as much of this done as we can. Because over December and that, I should end this field here, so. Because this field needs fertilizing, the grass field needs fertilizing. This one, more importantly. But overall, this thing ain't take too long, so quick time lapse of getting this all done. And I'll see you folks afterwards, and then that's where we'll wrap up the episode, I think, for today. Just like that, everything's done, all the fields are fertilised and whatever else needs doing. Those two fields do need ploughing, so we'll do that over the winter. Because in terms of what crop we're going to put in those fields, I'm thinking oats, I'm thinking oats or something like corn. Actually, maybe oats and then when we harvest that. Prep the fields and do either barley, wheat, wheat or canola. Because we do need more straw fields in. And whilst we're over here, we need to empty this because this is filled to the capacity. Now we can turn you back on, get the rest of that grass dried. Because we need to transfer all this over, so what I'm going to do is just jump cut, fill this up, empty it, and so on. 
And then we'll figure out if there's anything else he's doing before we end the episode here. And that is that filled up. And I may just leave the rest until the next episode or so before we transfer the rest over. But besides from that, that is pretty much everything done. Most of our equipment is back in storage and we do need another shed at some point. It's getting a bit cluttered up, especially with these harvesters and that. So I'm not too sure whether or not we sell this one. I'm gonna keep the cotton harvester, but this whether or not we'll keep it or sell it. So I'm thinking if we can earn enough money between now and harvest next year, which would be for the Bardi, which is in June. I'm thinking upgrade this combine because I looked at some combines what we can possibly get sort of mods and that so I'm not gonna go with a Colossus Harvester don't worry yes yeah, so I'm thinking either a Colossus Exion or the new Holland C10 or CR1090 if we could go with the John Deere X9, that'd be an, another option. Twelve meter headers. I could do thirteen point eight meters. Thirteen point eight. Thirteen point seven. So. But yeah, for uh, like this, for the New Holland, 430, so that's like 520, for this, we're looking at, yeah, about 530, so we'll, we'll definitely have to money by then, I think, just from what we're doing, I remember we've still got these pellets to sell. Nearly forgot about those. When are they good for selling? What's gonna be down here I think? January or February time. So still a few more months yet, but besides besides from that, that's pretty much everything. So a lot of money is going to come our way, I think, very soon. And actually, I'm just thinking the rough estimate. I think for the pellets, I don't want to get about four or five hundred grand, actually. Just doing a quick math in my head. Three or four hundred, and he's got over a hundred um, pallets of pellets, so. But yeah, besides from that. We are looking very good, so that's where we're going to leave it today. So next time, start looking at prepping that mega field and that. Because we need that done and prepped by January or February. And yeah, overall, I'm looking forward to this, so... But yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to click down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you want to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.